Yesterday, I visited Fort Lee to see the processing of the Afghans that had been brought to the United States under the Special Immigrant Visa Program. Uh, it was extremely heartening to be able to visit with the Afghans and their family members and to see the smiles on those children as they were embracing their new home. And while I am heartened to see that we have a number of Afghans that are being brought into the United States and are able to get to those third country nations, we have thousands thousands upon thousands that are still in Afghanistan. And because of the haphazard withdrawal that the Biden administration has done with our troops in Afghanistan, we see more and more of the territory falling to the Taliban. This makes it increasingly difficult for those Afghans who stood beside us for 20 years to get to Kabul and be evacuated whether to that third country nation or to the United States. So I do want to thank the members of Congress. Um, Jean Shaheen and I led the effort here in the United States Senate. The members in the House, uh, we quickly reacted, got legislation passed. The State Department is taking up that legislation and moving on that. But we need the Biden administration to do more and to push harder, get the vetting process done, engage while we can, and save as many as we can. The Taliban is after those who helped us. Make no mistake. On the next topic, illegal uh, immigrants receiving amnesty, tax hikes on farmers and small businesses, the Green New Deal, what do all of these things have in common? They are all part of the Democrats' reckless tax and spending spree. What we will be seeing in the next week or so here in the United States Senate. Americans are hurting. Hardworking families are hurting. They're paying more for their goods with inflation. And now the Biden administration wants to turn around, hike up their taxes, continue to force them to pay more for the goods and services that they need every single day. And I'll tell you what, every single Republican is united against this effort. We are going to stand with our hardworking American constituents.